All right, welcome to worship team training. Um, just thank you guys for uh, showing interest and in wanting to be on the worship team. Um, just a note before we do get going, uh, the worship team is a skill-based uh, serving team, uh, and it will thus uh, have some barriers to entry. Um, our hope is that anyone who has a desire to serve uh, on the worship team has the opportunity to do so. Um, and just in order to do that, uh, we do have an audition process, uh, and then that'll be followed up by a, a number of weeks uh, of shadowing. So shadowing will just be um, uh, just coming to practice, learning what goes on in practice and how we do things there. Um, coming to uh, set up in the morning on Sunday, uh, learning how everything is plugged in, because we do uh, about 50% of that along with the uh, sound team. Um, and then, yeah, just uh, kind of learning how, how to play with the team. Um, in order to audition, uh, you must be a member of a home church. Uh, so I'll just lay that out there uh, right at the beginning. Um, this means you've signed a home church covenant uh, and that you've been uh, making re every reasonable effort, like the covenant says, to attend home church and to attend um, uh, Sunday gatherings. Um, auditions are going to be uh, held in person at the end uh, of a practice time. Uh, so we'll schedule that with you uh, and make sure uh, everybody's on the same page. And uh, we'll give you a song to practice. Uh, and then we're going to play that song. Uh, and whatever part you have in that, uh, that's what you'll be doing. Um, and just a note, uh, practice times are Mondays uh, from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Um, and those are at the Hayfleys house. Um, so we'll give you uh, an address for that uh, if you need it. And um, those, those audition times will be scheduled for uh, about 9 p.m. Um, we're usually wrapped up with practice by that time. So um, try to be at the Hayfley residence at 9 p.m. Uh, if you have an audition. All right, so moving on, uh, we're just going to get into some culture stuff. Um, at the Oasis, our focus is on loving people uh, really well and caring for them like Jesus does. Um, our goal as a worship team uh, is to reflect that focus uh, in everything we do. So our aim uh, is to model Christ-like love to each of our fellow volunteers, members, uh, and guests uh, alike. Uh, we have the unique position of leading worship uh, on Sunday mornings, um, as the name would imply. Uh, and, but that gives us a really visible platform um, in which we can carry that out. Uh, so what that looks like, um, uh, the most obvious way we can uh, model Christ-likeness uh, is to approach every Sunday morning with a desire uh, for excellence. Uh, so excellence is not perfection. Uh, if we're looking for perfection, we're going to burn out uh, and it's not going to impact people. But uh, if we bring the best that we have, um, people will see that and that'll really have some impact. Uh, we should always be looking uh, to bring our very best uh, in the area that we're serving. So if that's vocals, if that's playing the guitar, playing the piano, playing the drums, um, whatever that looks like, um, our desire is to do as good as we can uh, within our abilities. And um, yeah, we just got to keep in mind that um, what we're doing is serving our Heavenly Father and we're, we're leading uh, the congregation with us uh, just to the throne. And um, our goal in that is to create uh, just an atmosphere uh, free of distracting mistakes, um, which says it all. Um, mistakes that take people away from worshiping and now they're more focused on oh no are they you know gonna mess something up um, we don't want that um, we're looking for an atmosphere that is wholly centered on worshiping and that people can just get into uh, and really feel the spirit move so um, yeah we just want to make uh, every Sunday morning um, just to the best of our ability, uh, make sure that guests and members have the opportunity to, uh, to do that and connect with the Holy Spirit. Um, so some ways that we uh, accomplish that goal uh, are going to be, I'm going to break it down to uh, a couple things here. So before rehearsal, during rehearsal, after rehearsal, and then 
After that, uh, it's going to be before service, um, during service, and then after service. So, uh, before rehearsal, um, some notes on that. Uh, it is expected that every member uh, of the worship team spend some time during the week uh, before rehearsal looking over songs, um, practicing uh, whatever songs or whatever parts they have for that week, uh, and be just becoming familiar with what we're doing um, that Sunday, instrumentally or vocally. Uh, and what that looks like uh, for us, uh, that's just going to be um, listening to the song on YouTube or on Spotify, uh, something like that, um, and even playing along uh, at some point. Um, that is what uh, would be considered practiced and ready for rehearsal. Um, I'm not looking for everything memorized, um, at least not at this point. Uh, there might be a point down the road where um, vocals are expected to be memorized, but uh, for the time being, um, the level of preparation includes having listened to the song uh, and at least played along with it once during the, uh, during the week before rehearsal. Um, so the way that uh, our system is set up is that everybody has um, a week off where they don't have rehearsal and they're not playing on Sunday. Uh, they have that week to uh, prepare uh, and use that time to just go over and learn parts and um, know what they're doing when they get to rehearsal uh, on a Monday night. Um, so moving on, uh, during rehearsal, um, what's going to happen, uh, we're just going to open up with prayer uh, and then we're going to dump uh, jump into um, picking songs for five weeks out. Um, uh, it's our goal to be just really prepared and the best that way that we can do that uh, is to be um, have songs in for Sundays that are uh, a month out. Uh, that just gives everybody time to know what's happening um, you know next week and the week after that. Um, so uh, after that we're going to move into uh, practice time uh, or rehearsal time. So uh, the important distinction between rehearsal and practice is that you've already practiced. Um, rehearsal is for working out the minor details. Um, so members uh, of the worship team are expected to show up uh, to rehearsal having practiced uh, and knowing um, what's going to be going on. Uh, it's really important that we're on time uh, for rehearsal. Um, I've heard it said that if you have a team of five uh, and everybody's five minutes or one person is five minutes late, uh, that's five minutes that they took away from the other four people. So instead of that just being five minutes, that's now 20 minutes. Um, so it's really important to be on time. Um, so moving on to after rehearsal, uh, just like before rehearsal, uh, it's expected that um, you do some practice time during the week uh, between Monday and Sunday. Uh, this will just really help uh, to solidify what we went over in practice uh, and just give you more time with the songs to uh, be familiar and just really be ready uh, for Sunday morning. Um, it also uh, it is really um, in tune with our uh, objective of bringing excellence uh, on Sunday morning. So uh, the best that we can be um, you will usually involve practicing uh, between Monday and Sunday, hopefully. Um, and that's just going to really reduce uh, those, that number of uh, distracting mistakes. Um, and so that's our goal, is to not have any distracting mistakes uh, on a Sunday morning. And the more time we spend in practice, uh, the lower that number is going to be. So practice between Monday and Sunday. All right, so moving on to Sunday morning. Um, before service, um, so on a Sunday morning, we're going to arrive at church at 6.45 a.m. Uh, with the setup team and with uh, AV, uh, with the sound team. Uh, we're going to help uh, everybody get everything pulled out of the shed uh, and set up. So <clears throat> what we're responsible for is all the equipment that is up uh, near the stage. Uh, so. Um, the sound team is responsible for their equipment, um, setups responsible for tables and, you know, all the equipment that they have. 
Um, so we're just we're just focused on um, the sound equipment that uh, we'll be interacting with. Um, so uh, this equipment is going to include uh, power amplifiers, uh, which are all contained in a uh, in their nice little box. Uh, cables that run from the stage to the speakers uh, and from uh, the stage to the soundboard, um, PA speakers, monitors, uh, any instruments. Uh, we've got some sound deadening uh, material that we set up. Um, so any of that, any of that equipment that uh, we'll be interacting with uh, on stage or near the stage. Um, and then after everything has been set up, uh, we're going to gather together uh, as a team and uh, we're gonna spend some time in prayer before the service. Uh, this is uh, a hugely important part of, the, of Sunday morning is that we uh, come together as a team uh, and just really connect uh, with God and with each other uh, in prayer and make sure that we're uh, centered and in the right place uh, for leading worship uh, that Sunday morning. Because um, in the end, it's not uh, it's not what we're doing, it's what God's doing in people's hearts, uh, and we're just looking for that um, and trying to uh, accentuate that as much as possible. Um, so after prayer, uh, we're going to start doing sound checks. Um, so we got to make sure that the sound team uh, is with us on that. Uh, all their stuff is set up and they're uh, focused, and uh, we can start setting uh, our monitor mix. So what we're going to do first uh, we're going to be running through um, setting the gain uh, for every mic and uh, instrument uh, with the soundboard uh, techs. Um, and that shouldn't take very long. So after that, we'll move into uh, setting our monitor mixes. So um, we'll have a general mix set uh, back at the board, and then we can adjust. Um, you know, if we need the guitar louder, we need uh, a vocals louder, um, <clears throat> and we can set that. Um, so we'll, we'll run through that. The way that's going to work um, is that uh, one person uh, is speaking and communicating with the soundboard uh, tech at the, uh, that morning. So um, that'll be me. Um, you guys will uh, be um, set up on stage wherever you are. Uh, you'll tell me what you need through the monitors and I'll relay that uh, to the soundboard tech. Uh, just so we can cut down on confusing, um, you know, a thousand different things going back there and you know, they get overwhelmed and uh, don't know what to do. Um, so to cut down on that, um, you'll tell me uh, what you need uh, in the monitor and I'll tell the sound person, hey, uh, so-and-so needs vocals up in the monitor. Um, so that's what that'll look like. Um, during this time, uh, unless your instrument uh, is being uh, adjusted in the mix, uh, you should not be playing. Um, this also will help dramatically uh, decrease the time this takes. Um, and that'll just, that'll just give us, a, you know, that much more time uh, to run through uh, our Sunday morning rehearsal. So... With that said, after sound checks are done, uh, we will go through uh, a short rehearsal. Um, this is not practice uh, at all. This is um, just a time to where we can model the service uh, in its entirety. So um, we'll start with our opener song, we'll sing that, uh, and then we'll move on to our two middle songs, and we will sing those uh, together with the transition in between them uh, to make sure uh, we know what we're doing uh, when the service starts. Um, and then we'll sing our closer. Um, for, uh, fortunately for us, uh, the closer and o the opener and closer um, aren't connected to any other songs usually. Um, so it makes it a lot easier. We pretty much just have one transition um, between songs uh, in the middle. Uh, and just a reminder, it's not practice time. We shouldn't be learning uh, anything about the song during this rehearsal. Uh, this is for just uh, making sure we know our transitions. Um, and just a final check. Uh, so during the service, um, worship team members uh, will attend both services on a Sunday morning, um, uh, unless uh, there have been previous arrangements uh, with me or with um, David or Dustin, whoever is there that Sunday. Um, <clears throat> 
so uh, if you're serving on a Sunday morning, uh, you should be on stage no later than the minute 30 mark uh, in the five minute countdown. So um, we don't want anybody running up to the stage after the countdown has hit zero and uh, people are waiting and uh, we can't start the service yet. So uh, minute 30 mark, everybody's on the stage uh, and we can start the service when it gets to z when that uh, countdown gets to zero. Um, all right, so that's pretty much, uh, and then, you know, after the countdown gets to zero, we'll sing our songs, and, um, and then during the prayer time, uh, uh, during the meditation, we'll come up for our middle two songs, um, and, you know, that should be that. We've practiced, and we should know uh, what's going on with the songs, and uh, we'll knock them out of the park. Uh, after the service, um, we're going to allow about 10 minutes or so uh, before we start tearing stuff down. Uh, this is just to give some time for music to play and people to you know, chit-chat and uh, kind of file out. Um, this lets us have some time to, you know, interact with people. And uh, I know everybody's got friends that come to service, so uh, that's your time to uh, interact. Um, once that 10 minutes is up... Um, uh, we are focused on breaking down though. So um, when we, we, we'll start breaking down, uh, we'll package up all of our equipment uh, in the boxes that it started out in. Um, and um, you know, if, if, um, if you're new to the team, we'll, uh, we'll have you shadow. And uh, this is part of that shadowing is uh, learning how to, you know, put stuff together and take it apart. Uh, it's not too complicated. We don't have a whole lot going on, um, so <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, cables and stuff, mics uh, all go in a box, and then those boxes all will go out to the shed, and we'll kind of Tetris it all together um, and make sure everything fits and uh, nothing is left in the room. Um, one thing to note, we do have to be out of the building by 12.30, so that's our, uh, that's our time cutoff for uh, teardown. Um, and it usually is done before then. I don't think I've ever had it go long. So, um, One thing to note, um, there is very limited space in the shed. So um, what I ask is that each team member stays at least until everything is packaged up and moved out to the sidewalk near the shed. Uh, once we're at the point where everything's going in the shed, um, it's pretty much a two-person job because there's just not space. So uh, at that point, um, you can consider yourself released uh, from service that week, uh, and that'll be good. Um, yeah, like I said, it's pretty much a two-person job at that point. There's just not enough space. Um, uh, I will need somebody to stay behind, though. <laughs> um, so we can work that out with uh, each other and uh, who stays behind every week, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so uh, wrapping up, just some general notes. Um, if it's determined by uh, the team during an audition uh, that an applicant is not suited for a worship team um, or isn't ready just at the, at the moment, uh, maybe they're developing uh, or learning some skills that are, are just kind of in process, uh, we will, uh, with every effort, uh, help you find a serving team um, where your skills can be utilized uh, to the best of uh, your ability. Um, so what that looks like uh, is just um, uh, we'll, we'll try and find a team where you're uh, working with us. So that'd be sound, AV, um, so something like that where you can still be uh, part of the uh, making worship happen uh, on a Sunday morning. So you can still learn uh, and you can get familiar with how stuff works uh, while you're maybe learning some skills. Um, and we'll, when the time's right, we'll make a path uh, for you to uh, be able to join the worship team. Uh, members of the worship team uh, are required to participate uh, in quarterly meetings uh, with myself. Um, and that's just in order to maintain communication uh, in the team and uh, make sure um, I know what's going on uh, with you guys uh, and we can interact. And, um, you know, it's pretty much like a home church. So we're, we're sharing life with each other and um, just hearing what you guys need um, and what I need from you and uh, just kind of having that relationship. So 
I just want to thank you guys for uh, choosing to uh, sit through this uh, worship team uh, training. And I just uh, wish you the best of luck.